Hey, hello, my name is Tim Casalo here at Jim Glover Dodge in Owasso, Oklahoma. I just want to say thank you for shopping with us online and finding yourself this 2018 Chevy Silverado 2500 in the high country. I know you did have several questions like, does it have dings, rock chips, what's up with the bumper, any issues, warranty, and in this video I'm going to cover all of that to the best of my ability. So some things I kind of mentioned or I do see based on what I see right now. And obviously I'm shooting this super raw. So just kind of bear with me as I stumble through my words and <laughs> kind of show you exactly what's going on here. Um, let's see, I see some bug guts. Uh, it looks to be like a little, I don't know if you can see it on this end, a little scratch. So when it does come to rock chips, I mean, I'm seeing very little... I don't know if you can see it there. That that's actually looks like a rock chip on there. Um, there are some. Obviously, it's been driven on the road for 60,000 miles. Mm -hmm. Looks like a couple right here. These are like little pits from the rock chips right over here on the bumper. Uh, I don't know if it picks up. There you go. There's another one right there. A couple right here. Uh, a little more pits hitting over here on the bumper nothing crazy I haven't seen any dents and it, well, obviously I am looking at the uh, the front of the truck looking at the fender I mean tires look like in phenomenal shape nothing on the fender of course it is a Duramax diesel I don't know if you can see it from that light no chips on the windshield uh, I believe the windshield did just get replaced. We do have a little marker right there kind of letting us know it was already replaced. Steps. Let me see if there's anything here. There you go. I guess you can see myself. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's a 2019. There it is. It is a 2019, not a 2018. I don't see any scratches here on the doors. I mean, on these, like, where you have the guards, there is, like, this paint protective film. There's a little chipping away over here on the paint protective film, uh, but not on the actual paint. And then the same concept for the driver's side door as well. Kind of right there, it's, like, coming off a little bit. I am honestly going to avoid the... Uh, the spray that's going on right over here but to the best of my ability i'm going to show you the rest of what's going on with the truck i don't see any issues with the uh back here on the bed obviously it is a diesel spray in the bed liner tiny scratches here on the uh on that polymer or i guess it's like a plastic covering for the bed no cracks in the windshield, no pits on the windshield or glass. I'm gonna go walk on this side, because to be honest, I can't really do a full walk around with the rest of that um, spray or spraying. And great tires, you got opposite side over here for the, uh, the steps. Here's the other mirror right here. I mean, obviously I kind of took it off of the bracket because it does have power folding mirror, so it's not gonna lock in place until I press, go inside and press the uh, the button to have this back on. Same process here, there's a little bit of chips on the PPF. Nothing wrong with the uh, doors whatsoever. I think it might be safe for me to pass. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking at the back here. Hopefully I can kind of show you uh, what's going on. But based on the bumper that I see, I don't have anything that's uh, going on. Oh, uh, well, we got sprayed. Here, I'll shoot another video here shortly, but let me go ahead and check the top of this truck as well to see if there's anything 
wrong if there's any like dents if it's been through hail you can kind of see it but i don't see anything that's on here at all i'm looking against the reflection of the light kind of give me an idea of what's bending the reflection which also lets me know if there was a um, like hail damage or like small dents no crack on the windshield either here's the interior of the truck nice brown interior usually when you when you look at used vehicles with leather you want to pay attention to the bolster of the seats obviously you do see signs of it being already used due to the creases but looking at the bolster I mean it looks in phenomenal shape Here we go. Here is the moonroof. I'm looking, I usually pay attention to these because if these are missing, that's a good sign that has been replaced before. Hasn't. This does seem to have the DVD screens. So that's a cool stuff. Wait, let me put that in frame. Nice leather interior as well in the back. I mean, obviously the back's not gonna be used as much as the front. Speaking of the front for the driver's side, I mean, you got the brown, nice brown leather interior, high country. Seats on the driver's side, there's a little bit of wear over here, I don't know, let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. And there's the crease, there's my arm, kind of blending with the color of the seats. But yeah, it's actually pretty, in really, really great shape. Another thing I would pay attention to is like the uh, steering wheel. Uh, it tends to wear on this side and on the top because people like to drive with their hand on the top And I'll be honest. I don't have the key to this, but this was open So I wanted to show you an opportunity to or give you the opportunity to see of the truck Wheel locks for the key. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of important, right? You got wheel locks on the key and you don't have this key Or wheel locks on the wheels and you don't have that key You're kind of SOL Tons of features on this heated and cooled seats screen. Uh, it does have backup camera as well. I mean, shoot, you can even put a DVD in here for your for your DVD up here in the back for your kids. Uh, active lane management, exhaust brake because it is in diesel, 6.6 diesel. Parking sensors front and rear, that cab light, traction control. I mean, this is if I can control my pedals right over here. I don't know if you can kind of see it moving barely maybe that's my hand just shaking <laughs> dual climate control with your hvac controls right over here i mean just if you know what you're looking for in a 2500 uh gm vehicle then i mean this thing is pretty loaded anyways my name is tim thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you have any other questions feel free to reach out to me and i would gladly answer your questions